Hello, in today's video, I want to show you some quick shortcuts that will save time when building your levels inside Unity 3D. Remember that using shortcuts takes practice and a bit of time, but it's absolutely worth the effort. You'll save so much time in the long run. Let's start with the most important one, moving your camera. When using the scene view, you can hold your right mouse button and use the WASD keys to navigate through your scene like you are flying. You also can use Q and E to go up and down. If you scroll your mouse wheel, you can change your camera movement speed. Before we continue, remember that you can view and change your shortcuts. Just go to the top menu, select Edit, and then Shortcuts, and this window with all shortcuts will appear. To move your objects using Unity's built-in grid, you can hold the Control key. As you can see, it moves and snaps to the grid indication. This is really useful when building modular levels. Remember that you can also change your grid settings. Using the control key also works for changing the rotation and scale of the object. The snap values can be found in the grid settings. This is one of my favorite shortcuts. Did you know it is possible to align objects to your scene colliders? Make sure your scene ground has a collider, it can be of any type. You can hold Ctrl and Shift together and this small square will appear at the object selection. Then just move your object over the collider and it will align with the collision. The alignment point is calculated like a physical raycast. To duplicate objects like this, press Ctrl and D. Now, let's talk about one of the most powerful shortcuts, Vertex Snapping. Vertex Snapping is a feature that lets you quickly and accurately align objects by snapping one mesh's vertex to another. This can make your work much faster and more precise, especially when you need to position objects perfectly in your scene. To use vertex snapping, first select the object you want to snap. Then, hold down the V key. You'll notice a small square appearing over the vertices of your object. Choose the vertex you want to use as the pivot by hovering over it. Once you've decided, drag your object towards the vertex of the other object you want to snap to. If you really want to improve your level design, I highly recommend checking out my Unity Tool Prefab Brush. It lets you quickly create stunning levels with features like physics-based placement, custom pivots, and vertex snapping. Link in the description below. Another cool one allows you to align an object's rotation with a collider. Select the object you want to align and move it close to the collider. Press E to enter rotation mode. Then, hold down both the control and shift keys. As you move your mouse, you'll see your object's rotation start to align with the collider. It might feel a bit tricky at first try, but you will get used to with practice. Another handy feature is the Unified tool, which combines the Translate, Rotate, and Scale tools into a single shortcut. Just select an object and press Y to switch to this mode. Now let's talk about the Rect tool. To use it, select your object and press T. A square will appear around your object, allowing you to control its scale based on your camera view. As you move the camera, you'll be able to select different axes to adjust the scaling. And don't forget, you can quickly center your scene camera on any object by pressing F. Just select the object you want to focus on and hit F to instantly bring it into view. If you enjoyed this video, Hit the like button and leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to learn next in Unity.